All right. So thank you all. So um, we're going to have everyone sit here together. I just want to make it clear that uh, our candidate, Mr. Bahi, on uh, my far right, on to your left, is the mayoral candidate. So he is running for mayor in the town of Killian, and the other three are running for a position on the board of aldermen. Okay. But just so for ease of, uh, of being able to make sure that everyone addresses the same topics and the same issues, we'll have them all answer the same questions. And what we'll do is, uh, so Mr. Mayor, Mr. Bahi, you can start first with your introduction. Uh, turn that mic on and stand and you'll have three minutes. Thank you. If y'all know me, three minutes is gonna be rough. All right, so Kenny Bahi, I'm the current interim mayor of Killian. I live in Kings Point Marina been there for about 10 years and I'm gonna to try to make this more about the town than about me I have a friend that told me a story one day about his his grandfather who worked the the ferry in Killian his dad worked the bridge his dad worked the bridge his dad worked the bridge and now we have the bridge we have now that time frame took a hundred years to go from that ferry to the bridge you have now I think the the evolution of Killian and the growth of Killian the next one is not gonna take 100 years. The next evolution is gonna happen really, really fast. I was very, very fortunate to, to befriend Ms. Stacy with the Louisiana Economic Development, and she took me on a journey since July of last year when I became an alderman. Brought me all around the state, all around the parish, and I met a bunch of people that were able to educate me and have no background in politics other than Patriot Radio and eighth grade civics. So wasn't really sure how this all worked, we figured it out, and she gave me a great education. And I learned something about the Louisiana economic development. And so how do we grow a town? So we went through that. Killian has become the first town in the parish to be Louisiana economic development ready. And what that means is we can define what we want and what we don't want. So we get to pick and choose what comes there. And it's very important for me that the people of the town have a voice in what they have. So being the first town in the parish is really, really cool, and they get to do some really Really, really fun stuff. So that's a big deal. I think that was a, a big win for the town. Um, I was asked tonight a pretty interesting question. A young lady sitting over to my left said, Kenny, why do you want to do this? I've done a lot of things in my life that's really cool, and I don't know that this is anything other than a calling. Um, I got to experience, uh, the town of Killian experienced a lot of tragedies, a lot of things. Whew, no way. The previous regime, the previous regime, the previous mayors, the previous town council, everybody's done a wonderful job in what they had for 100 years. But they've, they've all accomplished great things. It's just a different era now, a different time, and the speed of which things are gonna change is not that 100 years, it's gonna happen in five years. Being Louisiana Economic Development ready is gonna really help that, that situation happen. And being the first one in the parish is something to be very proud of. So we're gonna do the best we can to, to make sure that the businesses that are in Killian are from there and they're and they owned by local people. So very, very appreciative to all the people that have done this job in the past because they've taught me a lot and I get to do this hopefully for a long time. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> okay, my name is Patrick Canal. I'm running, I'm running to retain my seat as alderman for the town of Killian. Uh, first off, I'd like to tell you I'm no politician. This is the first time I've ever run for any public office. First time I've done any public speaking. That's a lot of firsts for a 73 year old. <laughs> I was born and raised in Hammond. I'm retired owner of Michael Canal and Sons power equipment business in Hammond and in Ponchatoula. I did that for 40 years. It's the only job I've ever had, so I don't move around much. I've been married for 13 years. I've lived in Killian for 41 years this month. Why? Because it's a wonderful place to live and we really enjoy it. And I would like to keep it that way. That's why I finally decided to do what I'm doing. I've been there 41 years. I've seen a lot good. I've seen a lot not so good. I was asked to be an alderman in an unusual way. The mayor says, get on board, take the alderman seat, or quit complaining. Well, here I am. 
Also, I learned a lot I didn't know about politics and about running a town of Canyon. It's very much like running a business. You have money coming in, money going out. You have people to manage. You have a police department, fire department, tax collected. It's really a big deal. It's not the, it's not the hour and a half you spend once a month sitting there. You have to work at it, and it's a lot to it. I feel with my experience of running a business and the experience I've had with living in Canyon and watch everything that's happened in the last 41 years, that I can continue doing a good job, and I'd like for you to vote for me. I'm number 71. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kimberly Gill. I've been a resident of Killian for 15 years. I reside there with my husband, Joshua, and I'm currently raising a 16-year-old teenager that goes to Springfield High School. That's an adventure. I was formerly a maritime executive. I was the director of regulatory and compliance over health, safety, and environmental for the third largest towboat company in the United States. My background is policies, procedures, grant writing, grant administration, internal auditing, external auditing. So how did I end up here? A, and I have a few neighbors here, I love to feed people. And after the hurricane hit the community of Killian, I was able to, within 36 hours, bring the resources of Mercy Chefs to provide 2,000 meals a day to Killian, Springfield, and the surrounding areas. I love feeding people, so, truthfully. That opened the door for me becoming involved with the Killian Food Pantry, which is now one of my largest passions to help the community. I am a caretaker. Uh, why am I not working anymore? I'm a cancer survivor, and I'm unable to go back to the duties that I've worked at for 20 years in the maritime industry. So after I started feeding the community and Mayor Gillis realized that I had the ability to find things that he was unable to during the event of an incident, I realized that I had some skills that the town could use, some abilities that I could help with, uh, policy writing, grant writing. There's a lot of funding out there for small towns that is available to us. We just need to have the right person to administer the money and help the people understand what we're applying for. I love Killian being small. Yes, Killian is one of the largest land masses in the parish of Livingston. We have adopted and agreed as a council to use the Keeping It Country initiative. Oh, by the way, Mayor Gillis and a few other people appointed me as interim mayor, once mayor, uh, interim alderman, as, you know, as he left. I took Kenny's spot. So that helped me make the decision to continue moving forward. I am not a politician. I absolutely have been laughed at by many politicians for the fact that I'm doing this because I always said, I will never run for political office. My goal is to be there to help the community and try to get things for our children and for our senior citizens that are in our town so they're not traveling to other towns to have the things that they need to enjoy. Thank you. My name is Amanda Jacobson. I'm a new wife and mother to a wonderful baby boy named Henry. I moved to Killian five years ago in 2017 because ever since I was a little girl, I've always dreamed of owning my own farm with horses, goats, chickens, and a big veggie garden. I completely fell in love with a tranquil and serene town that I now call home. I am running for alderman in the town of Killian because I want to be a voice of the people while being fair and honest to all of our residents. Although running for an alderman position in Killian has been something I have wanted to do for a few years now, it was never the right time. After fighting to be heard about the short-term rentals and hearing the rest of our town voice their opinions, it made me realize how important it is to have someone in a position of power who will truly be on the side of the people. I am a team player and believe in being accountable as well as making decisions based upon critical thinking, common sense, and listening to our residents' needs. I want to keep Killian country by balancing growth and holding in incoming developers accountable to our high standards. I believe in the power of networking to accomplish large-scale issues that need to be immediately addressed. 
I am for Killian, or for making Killian self-sufficient so that I can assist in taking care of our specific needs, such as overlaying our roads, getting our grass cut on a regular basis, replacing damaged culverts and improving the drainage in our area, addressing the blighted properties, clearing out our waterways for our re residents to use, and most important of all, and at the top of everyone's list, fixing our water system by proving to the state and federal government who are over the grants that our town deserves to have our water system fixed. This will allow for our town to finally have working fire hydrants, so in case you didn't know, or none of our fire hydrants work. Once these primary concerns have been addressed, this will open future opportunities for our town to have family-oriented community events that will be fun for everyone, a time where our town's residents can come together to enjoy the current season and enjoy each other. I want to thank all of the volunteers who have devoted their time to cutting the grass. I want to thank all of my fellow workers at the Killian First Baptist Food Bank. And most of all, I want to thank the residents of Killian for the honor of serving on the board. So on November 8th, please vote Amanda Jacobson to be your next alderman. Thank you. Question number one, and each of you are going to answer this question. As you've been talking to the voters within the town, what are you hearing are the biggest issues and what are your plans to address them? The biggest issue I'm hearing is I live fairly close to the new marina that's coming into town and everybody's upset with the big blue building, the big mound of dirt, and it's, it's very attention getting. I think we need to try to give these people a chance. Nobody likes change. That's going to be a big change. But I think if we give them a chance, it'll work out and it'll be good for the community. As I've been walking the neighborhoods, I think the three things that are sticking in my mind the most are our water system, um, the overgrown vegetation, and the condition of our streets, and our community, places for our children and our seniors and, you know, the people who reside there to go, um, in addition to the potential growth because of the amount of land space we have. Uh, we have currently been working on the water system, and I foresee that in the next year there will be a very big change to the water system. We've already seen some of that change. And I think that we can control the growth as long as we follow the guidelines and the Keep It, Keeping It Country initiative. So to kind of add on to that, so I've been hearing the same thing as well. So holding the developers accountable, fixing our drainage, dishes, our, our drainage ditches and our water system primarily um, is really a high priority for all of our residents. I for one and personally know about our water system because we live in a place where you know we have a lot of woods. So it, people like to have burn piles. So if you don't have the fire hydrants working, then it's really difficult for our firefighters who would respond to even put out those fires as well as the, the you know big blue building that I know everybody is fussing about, but it's there. There's nothing we can do about it, but you know, hopefully you know, with the plan that they have in place, it will help our community. And then as far as holding the future developers accountable, we can definitely do that by requiring pre and post development elevations and making sure that when they do submit their plans that the developers build to a base flood elevation that can only bring in about 24 inches of dirt and also putting restrictions on the amount of wetlands and mitigation that can occur. And have our candidate for mayor, if you, uh, Mr. Bahe, if you'll answer the same question. All right, one of the biggest things I hear is I agree with all of them as well on the Louisiana Economic Development Plan, which started off being the Keeping the Country Initiative. That was a, that was a huge thing. Caleb and I got together. Caleb, and, Caleb Atwell is one of our aldermen. We got together, and he, he wrote it. I'm not going to take anything away from him. He wrote it. Stacy and I brought that into, along with the council, we had meetings for four months for that to become the Louisiana Economic Development Plan that I talked about. But the biggest thing I hear about is the, is the air products coming into Lake Maurepo. The first meeting was attended by 12 people in a town an hour away. The last meeting at Livingston Parish probably had 350 people. I'm asking a friend of mine, Kenyon, with Southern Boys Outdoors to get 10, not 10, to get 1,000. They're asking us to learn what they're doing and understand what they're doing in our lake they're the ones that need to learn the lesson about what's going to happen with the people that stand up against them. They've crossed the line in asking us to learn their job. They need to learn what we want in our town and not what they want. What is your stance on short-term rentals within the town of Killian? 
I believe that we do need a short-term rental um, ordinance within the town. Uh, I've worked diligently with everyone on the last um, uh, ordinance that we were bringing up. I do not believe we can totally ban short-term rentals. Uh, there's a lot of legal repercussions that the town could suffer. I don't want to see the town of Killian spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a lawsuit, defending themselves in a lawsuit. So I did decide to help kill the bill so that we could eventually put the bill back up and make sure that we had the proper verbiage within the bill that covered making sure that the people of the town are safe and secure, but also fair to the people who are homeowners that decide to use their, their homes as a VRBO or a STR. So I'm also for short-term rentals as well. I do not believe that they should be banned in our town. Everybody should have the ability, if they choose to, to have that extra income if they want. Um, nobody should have, more should be told what to do with their property. It's their property, you work very hard to pay for it. Um, however, I do come from Metairie, which is all subdivisions as everybody knows. So I do understand having that neighbor who is loud or having a party or family over. So with that being said, I do believe that there's a compromise that can become between our town and maybe even the, the HOA subdivisions that we have. So quite possibly if the town could just have like a baseline of requirements and then allowing the HOAs to take over to have those stricter requirements for their specific neighborhood, I think we can come to a good compromise. And on the short term rentals, I'm not a fan of telling anybody what they can do with their property. It's you made a decision to buy it, do with what you will. My, my, my issue is in the short term rental world, I don't, I wouldn't like people that could come in and buy multiple properties and under different names, under shell companies or stuff like that, because that, that does happen. I, I would be willing to under, you know, appreciate the short-term rental ban if it was against some company that's coming in and buy 10 houses at a time under some name, and then we just get put in a, in a different situation where we're now like Destin or some corporate town where they just come in and, and just take over and you don't have a community anymore. My issue is to stay away from the corporate side of that. If you own a house and you want to make some money on the rental, that's your business. I'm not, I don't want to get involved in that. I would like the town to benefit from it. If there's a ban, uh, an issue with it, that'd be great. I just, I'm more concerned about big companies coming in and buying up the property and we lose our community forever. Well, I guess I'm going to be the ugly guy a bunch. I'm against the short-term rentals. The whole initiative of keeping it country, when, you do, when I lived in the country, you knew your next door neighbor. It didn't change every week. Every weekend there's somebody new, you don't know them, there's no background checks being done. It's a dangerous situation. It could be drug dealers, it could be who knows what. If you got a credit card, they will rent you a short-term rental. And they're gonna be right next door and no telling what can happen. So if they're gonna be, at least we need to try to regulate it and have some background checks done on the people by the people that are renting it. Because the people that are renting it don't care. They want their money. The neighbors, they really don't care about. And that's how I feel. What is your position on growth within the town and what is your vision for the town of Killian? So I plan to follow the Keeping It Country initiative, also known as our three-year strategic plan adopted by the current board. Um, I do believe that we need some zoning restrictions and also keeping a very strict eye on any new developing that is going on. I do agree with the rest of the residents in our town that we need to keep it small. We do not want the big time com commercial growth. We are looking to grow in the right way, but not become another Denham Springs or any of the other bigger cities. We want to keep it country and that's how we like it. All right, once again, the, the economic development plan that we have defines clearly what we want and what we don't want. And one of the most important things there is the town hall meetings. Someone mentioned that earlier. When, we first, when I first became an alderman, it kind of looked like that. It wasn't very, wasn't very well attended because it just wasn't a lot of information being put out on what was going on. But now the town hall meetings are packed. The growth will be determined by the people. 
The growth, it's, it's defined in the Keep It Country initiative and now the economic development plan. But the people are so involved now. And I asked them, when the lady asked me a little while ago, what, do I, what would I like to do, what I like to see, why do I want to do this? It's because everybody's involved and it feels like a calling to me to be a part of something that everybody's aware of and everybody's doing. And it's just an awesome thing that everybody gets to participate in the town and the growth of the town. So it's a it's, it's pretty good deal. I think Kenny summed it up the best, and we need to keep it simple. Mom and Pop hamburger stand when open. Glad to have you. Wendy's, no thank you. I agree with everyone else on the panel. Um, I think one thing that is very important for the residents to understand is how important ordinances are. Because if you don't have your proper ordinances in place, anything can come to your town any day. So until we get some review of all of our ordinances on the books and really put some guidelines in place to ensure that major, you know, we can end up with a Dollar Tree or, a, you know, a supermarket down the street. Yeah, we'd love to have a little small Carters and Pat's right, mom and top pop organizations like a little breakfast shop. I'm waiting for somebody to open a breakfast shop. You know, those are the things that we need to come to the community, but we need to protect our residents to ensure that any future building does not harm the property that is currently there and cause any type of flooding or other types of damage. Give them another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And that concludes it.